motion detection alarm. Generally, in security systems that are used in homes, shops, offices, etc., infrared or laser transmitters and receivers are used for accuracy and reliability. But these methods require a lot of monetary investment and infrastructure support. In this project, we will make a simple cost-effective solution for security systems implemented using a PIR-based security alarm. Use of PIR sensor instead of transmitter or receiver saves power consumption as well as it is a low-cost implementation. In this video we will see how a motion detection alarm is made using PIR sensor. These are the components which are needed in this project. One comparator IC, LM358, 8 pin IC base, 2 10 kilo ohm resistors, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 2 10 microfarad, electrolytic capacitors, 1 red LED, 7805, voltage regulator, 1 buzzer, 1 PIR sensor, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off. Rocker switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. 7805 voltage regulator is used to convert 9 volt DC into fixed 5 volt DC. While we use the circuit, the battery starts discharging and battery voltage starts decreasing, but 7805 maintains fixed 5 volt DC at its output unless the battery voltage goes below 7 volt. Two capacitors of 10 microfarad are used at the input and output of 7805. To avoid any fluctuations, LM358 is an 8-pin dual comparator IC. It compares two of its inputs and gives the output accordingly. Comparator compares the signal at its pin number 2 with the signal at pin number 3 and gives the output at its pin number 1. When the voltage at pin number 2 is higher than the voltage at pin number 3, then it gives a low output at pin number 1. When voltage at pin number 2 is less than the voltage at pin number 3, then it gives a high output. At pin number 1, two 10 kilo ohm resistors are used in potential divider mode, and they gives 2.5 volt. At pin number 2 of the comparator, this is the symbol of PIR sensor. Pin number 3 of IC is connected with the PIR sensor. When there is any moving object in front of the sensor, then PIR sensor detects the movement and gives a 5 volt signal at its output. Now, comparator have 2.5 volt at its pin number 2 and 5 volt at pin number 3, so it gives a high signal at its pin number 1. A buzzer is connected at pin number 1 of IC, so when any movement is detected near the sensor, then the buzzer starts beeping. When there is no movement, then sensor gives a low output. Now in this case, Comparator have 2.5 volt at pin number 2 and 0 volt at pin number 3, so it will gives a low signal at its pin number 1 and buzzer will kept silent. These components will be used to make the circuit. First of all, we will make a PCB base and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter to cut the plastic. 
Now insert the switch inside the hole. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor will protect the LED from high voltage and current. Now we will solder the power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder 7805 voltage regulator. It has three pins. First one is input pin, second one is ground pin and third pin is output pin. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Now we will solder two 10 kilo ohm resistors one by one to make the voltage divider. Connect pin number 8 of IC with 5 volt supply. Connect the upper resistor with 5 volt supply, lower resistor with the ground and connect the joint of both the resistors with pin number 2 of IC. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. It has a sign of plus on its top. It shows that this side is positive and the other side is negative. Connect the positive pin of buzzer with pin number one of IC and connect the negative pin of buzzer with the ground supply. Connect pin number 4 of IC with the ground supply. Now we will solder the PIR sensor on the PCB. PIR sensor has 3 pins, 5 volt, output, and ground. Connect the 5 volt pin with the positive supply, ground pin with the ground supply, and output pin with pin number 3 of IC base. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now give the power supply to the circuit and check its functioning. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.erltech.com.
You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.